Hi everybody, Shawnee here. So I just want to say thank you to all of my 1,000 plus subscribers. You guys are amazing. So I really appreciate you subscribing. I hope that my video videos, my videos, these videos that I put out here um, have helped you out in your journey of learning Swift or building your app or whatever. Okay, so I am going to build an app. It's gonna be a really simple kids app. I felt like I wanted to do something fun and kind of let my creative juices flow. I mean, I have created small apps, but I've never been like really passionate about um, a project that I wanted to release out into the wild. And I did do a couple of like to-do apps and things like that, but the thing is, is I felt like there's always to-do apps out there. <laughs> Every like tutorial app that you find out there is usually it's a to-do app. So this one's gonna be a little different. It's going to be a little game app. Um, if you've heard Fizz Buzz Pop, I am actually gonna build out that logic using unit testing, and I'm gonna create my app with a little bit of test-driven development. Now, I am not a pro by any means, and I'm not here to discuss what is the best way of doing it that's not that's, no, I'm not, I'm not going to go there, <laughs> okay? I'm just going to use things that I feel might be helpful for myself and hopefully be helpful for you. So I hope you go into this with an open mind and um, hopefully you enjoy it as well. So let me get down to business. So what is this app? Well, it's, I'm going to name it Fizz Soda Pop <laughs> Cafe. The idea is that it's going to be a kid's app. Um, it's going to be a kawaii, so the, you know, the cute little characters with the faces. I'm going to build those in Sketch. And Sketch is really similar, if you don't know what it is, it's really similar to Adobe Illustrator, but it's geared towards digital assets. Um, and it really makes it really easy to create your assets and immediately, immediately, you know, get the, you know, the three different resolutions like that. So it's super fun, it's super easy. Um, there's a bit of a learning curve, um, but I am able to, you know, create things that people typically create in Adobe Illustrator. So it should be fun, um, and hopefully you find it, it, it informative, hopefully. That's the hope. And I've been toying with this idea for a little while, and I was gonna do something like, Oh, a to-do app or something like that. Something, you know, you, you know, somewhat useful, I guess. But I, I feel like everybody does those type of tutorials out there. So I kind of wanted to do something a little simple, but yet fun, but I can build upon. So I found a really great tutorial um, that introduces the concept of an iOS game that's really simple, but I feel like with this, I can bounce off and add other things to it. So that is the goal of this app is, yes, it might be simple, but there's things that I can do to actually make it much more fun. I could add more games to it, or I can add AR, which is actually something I plan on doing. Um, but I just wanted to keep it simple, get it scaled down, but yet leave it open for me to actually build upon it. So. Hopefully you guys will join me on that adventure. And if you guys want to um, join me on this and see what's coming up next, I will have an email list. And if you subscribe to my email list, I will send you kind of a syllabus of the topics I'll be covering. So you'll know beforehand um, what code I touch or what frameworks I use um, so that you can actually study up on it before you actually view it or practice if you're not sure about it, or you know, things like that. So it kind of gives you a heads up so you can really be there, see what I'm doing and understand what I'm doing. And that's the whole point. Um, there's some things that I will walk into and do like a little tutorial on. For example, unit testing. I feel like there's not many like unit testing, you know, tutorials out there. Um, they, they, sprinkle a little bit here and there like a side note like oh it's unit testing yeah that's how you do it and i feel like that's kind of it's not really great so i'm going to show you how to build a test in playground it is interesting <laughs> it's actually going to be a two-part series because you have to actually set up play uh playground to play nicely with xc test so um the setup once you get the setup though just use that as like your you know diving board into unit testing. So what unit testing in Playground does, it kind of puts the blinders on so you only focus on just 
the code that you're writing and not anything else. And I feel like that's another thing that a lot of you know tutorials out there don't do is they just assume, oh, you just put everything in there, everything in the kitchen sink, you know? And that's not really the case. And it doesn't matter what how many people think that, you know, they can multitask. If, if you want to do something right and stay focused on the task, it's actually best if you focus on one thing at a time. So that's the point of this, is to focus on one thing at a time and to build it up. But also leave the ability to actually add more things to it without breaking what you've already built. That's the point. <laughs> so hopefully you'll join me on this journey. It should be fun. Definitely a learning experience for me and hopefully it is for you. Maybe it'll, you know, stir up those creative juices in your brain. Is the hope? <laughs> Maybe? <laughs> we'll see. Anyways, so let's talk about the game. Um, so I'm going to name it Fizz Soda Pop Cafe. Um, it's going to be a kawaii um, style game. We play the cute little characters like Hello Kitties. Well, I'll, I'll be creating my own little characters, uh, which is actually kind of fun and it's, it's adorable. <laughs> um, so Again, it's more like a game. So I created a couple characters. Uh, they're gonna be static, kind of like stickers. Um, and then basically the player gets to earn these stickers if they give the right answer to um, whatever numbers popped up and that applies to Fizz Buzz, Buzz Soda Pop. So um, that's the whole point. So hopefully you guys will join me on this because this is gonna be really fun. So I want to get down to actually app development, just a really oh, basic intro. Um, so when I decided to go ahead and do this, I had to narrow down what features I want in my app. And I don't know if you've heard of it, but there's is, is this thing called MVP or Minimal Viable Product. And a lot of people be like, I've read about it, I've tried doing it, but nothing really made sense until I discovered MVP with storytelling. So basically the idea is you narrow down um, all the, so you, you, de you, know, you design, you basically design everything you want in your app and then you narrow down what parts of your app would be one, the bare minimum. What's the bare minimum you need for your app to work? And then the MVP is those features that actually make your app what it is and um, I know a lot of people don't really go into much detail about it because it it is kind of confusing it really is so I'm not going to lie um, but I do plan on putting up a video um, that's based on another app that I kind of have in the works too um, I haven't really I've done some parts of it but not a lot so but it's a good intro, so I'll, I'll add that to, to this um, series. All right, so the first part of me actually developing this app was yes, I did use or referenced um, a blog post. The thing is, is with app development in general, you do need to have some planning, because if you don't plan, you plan to fail. I've, I've learned, I can attest to that, <laughs> okay? So um, one of the things that I made sure to do is to, before I even decide to code or to do the mock-up or anything, is I wrote down what I wanted my app to have. And that's really important. And um, you don't necessarily have to use a notepad, but I find using a notepad is the best way of getting out of your head and not really messing with anything on your computer. So um, what I did is basically I, just brainstormed what I wanted it to do and there's like tons of stuff I don't know if you can see but I wrote down some ideas and you know I had this vision of what it could be at the very end like this elaborate thing but then I just narrowed it down from there so I decided okay what is my primary goal that's the first thing you need to do number one primary goal okay if you don't have your primary goal you will not stay on track all right so my primary goal for this app was to create a fun game where children can learn um, basic division. Eventually I will add primary numbers. Um, and that's something I actually do plan on doing so they can either learn primary numbers or basic division. And in the, and at the in the gameplay they collect these stickers or characters that they can use to run their little cafe. So I feel like it's a really cute idea, at least to me. <laughs> I have, I am having fun actually creating this game. So hopefully you guys will learn something from it, maybe. Um, 
And then the process. So, so first thing you need to do, of course, goal. So the second thing you need to do is process. You need to figure out what the process is. What do I mean by that? Well, if you have the game and you give it to, say, your niece or your nephew, and they look at it like, well, how do I work this? You tell them, well, first you need to start a new game. Second, you need to answer the, you know, whether the number has fizz, buzz, or pop, or fizz, soda, or pop. And then if you get the answer right, you get points. And at the very end, you get those characters. And then you get to save those characters and use those characters, etc., etc. So that's the process. And you have to define the process because once you define the process, you can define what features are most important for each process. So what you actually have to basically write. What, 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 what code you need, what assets you need to actually make that happen. So once I um, determine the process, and I, of course I wrote it down, I'll probably put it up here somewhere. The next thing you need to do with the process is you need to, of course, define what you need. And I don't know if you can see it really well, but what I did was I wrote down my process and I wrote select primes and then earn points and then save them to a library. And so I wrote down what features were most important for this. So for select primes, I did, I need some buttons and I need to build an item in a series of three. So that's logic. Um, for the second one, earning points. So for every correct answer, the, you, the player gets five points. If they don't, they, they don't get any points. Um, they get a high score if uh, their high score is saved, and they earn bonuses when, a, when they complete a complete series and they answer correctly all the way through, they get a bonus. Then for my saving the item to the library, when the game's over, give results, um, and then save any items that they've actually collected. And then they can use those items uh, to actually run their little cafe. So. The thing is, is that's a lot of stuff to build. And the thing is, if you want to get up and running really fast, the idea is you need to define which of those asks or which of those features are integral to your game. Like, if you don't have them, it doesn't work. And that's what you call the, the walking skeleton. And so I determine my walking skeleton to be the buttons to determine the correct answers and to add to the score. And then saving the items. So that's the basic that I need to get my very basic. And I think every game's like that. Where the very basic is you need to have, you know, actions and you need to do some calculation, you need some logic in there. So, so, so that's the point, is to really define what features you need absolutely, okay? And then the MVP is the extra that makes your game or makes your app it. Like, it, it's different from anything else that's out there. And I determined mine was um, to do, let's see, saving the items um, and then building the series of three. So it takes three answers to actually save the character in a row. So that's what kind of makes it different. Now I can definitely add more things to this game, which I do plan to, but this is kind of, I just want to give you guys something that's real, that I really plan on um, you know, releasing to the App Store, because I think it's important to actually see something that someone's built that's actually going to go into an App Store. At least attempt to. Well, it's going to be, but I'm, I'm going to release it, because I think it's really cute. <laughs> Alright, so hopefully you enjoy the series. I spent a lot of time on it. Um, it's kind of something that I've always kind of wanted to do, was to create, like, um, a child's game uh, because you know it, it's different. I mean, a lot of I think you can learn a lot by just doing a fun project, a passion project. And I really feel like this is this is my little passion project. I mean, I know I could do you know to do app, but everyone else does to do apps as you know their thing. And I feel like this is a good way to do something a little different. And hopefully you think so too. And hopefully you learn something from this series and that that's truly what I hope happens is that you get something out of this and that it gives you you know the motivation and 
everything else to do what you need to do for yourself. So thank you again, all my subscribers. You guys are freaking awesome. I appreciate it. Um, hanging with me <laughs> throughout these years has been a pretty bumpy ride. Um, you know, life happens, but you just got to keep doing it. You just got to keep banging on it. <laughs> all right. So if you want to join me on this series, there's a couple things you need to do. One, you need to subscribe down below. And basically it'll tell you when I upload something. Two, if you like this video or any of my videos, you know, just let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Um, and if you want to follow me on this series and you want to get the heads up before I release something, um, at least like, you know, the topics I'll cover, the code, you know, language, slip language, what frameworks I actually use, you need to subscribe to my email list. Because then I'll send that link over to you and you can download it and join me. All right, friends, ninjas, let's get to this. All right, see you later.